How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one we have the Honor 9X Pro. Let's take a look. Just like Huawei, Honor keeps pushing boundaries when it comes to delivering a device that looks good. In fact, so good that you automatically assume it's going to be a pricey one. Funny thing doing this review is I was expecting more from the Honor 9X Pro as soon as I took it out of the box. Uh, until I checked the price tag and that kind of matches the experience that I had with the device. Talking about the box, inside the packaging you get a 10 watts charger, in-ear headphones, USB-C charging cable, uh, which you can also use for data transfer. You've got a silicone case as well to keep it nice and secure. And you've got a SIM ejector tool in there as well. Of course, you get the 9X Pro too. Um, I have the international charger brick in here, by the way, but if you're buying this in the UK, you will get the three pin brick. So keep that in mind. Right away, you notice the heft and how bulky the 9X Pro is, uh, which is a matter of preference. I like big phones, so this is perfect for me. Unlike the 9X, the 9X Pro comes with a glass back and when you shimmer against light, you'll notice that big X that's in there as well with a blue and purple gradient, which is really nice. I think this is a really nice touch. On the top left corner is a triple camera lens setup. So you get a 48 megapixel F 1.8 main camera, which also does 12 megapixel binned uh, photos. You've got a F 2.48 megapixel wide angle camera, so ultra wide angle and you get a two megapixel depth sensing camera for portrait shots and even aperture mode as well. On the side of the phone is a large fingerprint sensor, which is also the power button. I like how you don't even have to press it really to unlock the device. So if you just tap uh, the button itself with your registered finger, it will just get you in straight away. And it's very quick as well. Honor has also included a headphone jack, which is pretty cool. Something that's becoming so last year, but still talked about by many today. Uh, you turn it around and you get a 6.59 inch screen, which is very big again. It uses LCD, which in turn produces muted colors, uh, but still okay. Nonetheless, uh, you get a FHD plus, so full HD plus, 2340 by 1080 pixels display in terms of resolution, which is more than enough for watching movies, gaming, or just browsing and reading books on the go. With an all display... With an all display design, so there's no uh, punch hole, there's nothing on the screen, you might be wondering where the front facing camera is. And that's because it pops up right at the top. And perhaps at least one reason why the 9X Pro is so thick as well. The pop-up camera mechanism houses a 16 megapixel front facing camera, uh, which is very slow as well when it comes to popping up and popping down, something to bear in mind. I've seen faster before. Down towards the bottom, you notice there's a downward firing speaker there as well, which when gaming or listening to music or watching videos, you can easily cover it up accidentally, uh, but it's fairly loud, although it lacks that base of a flagship device with the same uh, downward firing speaker experience. Uh, for battery, you get a big 4,000 milliamp hour battery in there that uh, lasted me two days easily, but I also put this down to the fact that I don't have all my battery draining games and apps installed. Um, so because of Google Play services and all that kind of stuff, I don't have some of those apps installed on here. You also don't get a water industrial system rating, so careful when using it out uh, when it's raining. For processing power, the Honor 9X Pro uses Huawei's Kirin 810 octa-core processor, so you get six gig of RAM in there as well, and 256 gig of internal storage. I believe that's the only SKU code that you will get for this uh, in the UK anyway, so it's less complicated trying to pick the right one for you. Um, you can expand that storage further with a 512 gigabyte micro SD card. Again, can be useful. The 9X Pro also has NFC built in, but there's no support for Google Pay. Again, for the same reason that I mentioned earlier. On the software front, you have AOSP based uh, Android 9 installed with Huawei's EMUI 9.1. Uh, shame it's not even the latest Honor Magic operating system running on their all skin. The Honor 9X Pro does not come with Google Mobile services again and Google Play Store, so guess what? you will be able to have some of the apps that you've come to love with any Android devices out there that's not Huawei or Honor. However though, you do have Huawei App Gallery, which is growing and uh, with Petal Search App as well, you can find apps that are not available in App Gallery. So you can download them securely and safely as well. The Honor 9X Pro's camera is on a mere side for me, nothing groundbreaking, but as I said at the beginning, you just have to remind yourself of how much you're paying for it. While the main camera can shoot high resolution images, uh, the recommended mode is 12 megapixel where you can shoot ultra wide angle images as well. Ultra wide angle images are quite bad on this, uh, in my opinion, images look soft and it just doesn't look like something that I'd share on, on Instagram after taking pictures with it. It also suffers massively when it comes to its dynamic range too. So again, something to bear in mind. Standard images besides the ultra wide angle and two times zoom are okay as well. Of course you can zoom further, but then it becomes a bit useless in my opinion. 
he picks up colours very well. Uh, can struggle with focusing when tapping uh, the areas that needed uh, to be focused on. Uh, but generally does the job for what I suspect most people buying the 9X Pro would need it for. So stuff like sharing it on Facebook. Portrait mode is a no-go for me as well as it struggles with edge detection. It's very meh again for me. But uh, using that front-facing camera and taking photos, taking selfies looks good. There's a lot of details in it, which I really like. The Honor 9X Pro supports up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. But uh, if you want that EIS to kick in, so electronic image stabilization, you need to capture at 30 frames per second. Overall, for a device that costs £279 with a free gift as well if you buy it at the moment during this review, the time of this review, uh, you can't complain about its design and camera quality. Where you can have a moan though is the lack of Google services on Play Store for more applications and the lack of water and dust resistant. Oh, and how slow that charging back up situation is. It's so slow to charge back up. So that's it for the Honor 9X Pro, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, drop them as well. All relevant links will be in the description area also. In the meantime, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that bell notification as well if this is your first time on the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.